We're going to be going over how to install and place scripts for GeoGuessr, along with which ones you should use. To use most GeoGuessr scripts, you need to use a browser extension called TampaMonkey, which is used to manage and keep your scripts in one place. And for this tutorial, I'll be using Mozilla and Brave, but every browser should work the same. To install it, go to tampamonkey.net, all links in the description, and click on Add to Firefox, or whatever browser you are using. To activate it, press on the Extensions button, which is this puzzle piece icon, and switch on Tampa Monkey. Big disclaimer, as per GeoGuessr's rules, using scripts to give yourself an unfair advantage over others will get your account banned, so be mindful of this when playing multiplayer. So where should we download scripts from? In my opinion, the best and safest place to download them is from the Plonkit site. They are well known now for their guides, but they also have a leaderboard and competitive section. And what we are interested in today, scripts and tools. Now that we're here, I'll go over which ones I think are the best scripts to use. If you are interested in improving your gameplay, the Country Streaks and State Streaks scripts are by far some of the best ones to use, and I personally always have one of these enabled. This is far better than the in-game streaks mode because we were actually able to make guesses with this script. Another very useful one is the No Car script, which as the name implies, allows you to guess without exploiting Google Car Meta. But be aware, it won't work in countries like Kenya, unfortunately. An underrated one, which I played on stream recently, is the Blink Mode script, which offers a unique challenge by having to guess just based on what you remember seeing for a split second. What's also good about it is that you can set a delay for when the round starts, so even if you have bad internet, it shouldn't be a problem. Provided you've installed a script, make sure you go to GeoGuessr and to use it, click on the extensions icon again and since you activated Tampa Monkey earlier, you should be able to directly click on it and a list of all your downloaded scripts should appear, where you can activate or disable them whenever you want. Just remember, you need to reload the site for the script to take effect and we'll go through some troubleshooting options at the end of the video, in case it doesn't work. If you want to make GeoGuessr a bit more fun, you can try out the Unity script, one of the most known ones, which has a bunch of features such as forcing you to guess looking at the sky, guessing from satellite coverage, and changing the minimap. GeoFilter is another good one. This script is primarily used to make rounds look weird. To activate its menu, you have to press Shift F. There are so many good quality of life scripts. For example, if you are, plan to be a YouTuber or streamer, I always recommend having the hide email and party link script on. There are a bunch of great map making options, customization options, better likes, better leaderboards, better stats page, custom backgrounds. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to the developers for adding all these features which make GeoGuessr a lot better. There are a few popular scripts that don't require the use of Tampa Monkey. You may have already seen some of them in the community section of GeoGuessr. Activating these ones is the same as Tampa Monkey. You'll click on Extensions, Manage Extensions, switch on the script, and click on it to open the options. Extensor is fairly similar to GeoFilter, but with quite a few more options. ChatGuessr is an extremely powerful tool which enables anyone to guess at the same time as the streamer, and I imagine it will be used far more when you have to have a pro account to play GeoGuessr, and let me know if that's something you'd want to do. The map making app and map generator are not really extensions, but are two extremely powerful tools to help in map creation. As I said earlier, we'll be going over some potential issues you may face. When a script doesn't work, there are a few things you can try. The most common solution is to just deactivate and reactivate the script. What you may have to do is deactivate it, reload, reactivate, and reload again. 
A script that tends to break every now and again is the Unity one, so just be aware that sometimes it just doesn't work. And if you wanted to use a planet guesser section, unfortunately it doesn't work for now. I've noticed some scripts don't work if you don't play the game in English, particularly the country and state streak scripts. To change the game to English, you go to the home page and click on settings. Okay, so I've almost finished making this and I just forgot a couple of things. For one, if a script doesn't work, trying to update it usually fixes the issue, if there is one of course, and also in the Plonkit Discord server, there's a channel called Scripts and Tools where if something goes wrong you can ask questions there and usually someone will answer. But besides that, that should be it. So thank you for watching, I plan on doing some pretty cool stuff on stream soon. All of these links will be in the description and I'll see you soon.